Bad at First Sight Season 14, Episode 9, Episode 10, Part 2. Hey, y'all, I absolutely miss you guys over the weekend. And I didn't get a chance to finish Married at First Sight. I was supposed to finish it thir Friday, and my husband called me at work Thursday. He was like, let's just go down today. We were going away for the week. He was like, let's just go today. So tomorrow. I was like, what? You mean right now? He was like, yeah, right now. So I clocked out. Hey, oh, Pat finished packing, got the kids, and we just went away for a little weekend getaway. And I wasn't able to finish Married at First Sight, so today's Monday. I'm finishing it. Plus, I have a lot of other Married at First Sight rumors and hearsays and so on and so forth. But I'm here this morning. Happy Monday. It's Monday here. We are on day 23 of the marriage. Thank you so much for your love and support. I think I should almost be at my 17,000 subscribers. I want to thank you for your love and support. And let's just hope that I can get through Merit at First Sight, all of it this morning. Uh, be sure to subscribe, thumbs up. Thank you so much for your love and support. Thank you for picking up my books. Thank you for reviews. If you have gotten any of my books and have not left me a review, please be sure to do so on Amazon, okay? I really appreciate the love and the support. Really, really quick. Um, I'm hearing a lot of things about... Um, Jasmina, you know what came to me? Jasmina represents the wife who is forcing herself to make the marriage work. Let's say that again. Jasmina, to me, just reading all of your comments and about Jasmina, she represents the wife. That's why I put up the naked wife here. A lot of wives are naked wives. And Jasmina represents the wife who she don't really like her husband. She don't respect him. She don't honor him. She doesn't adore him. And she's just trying to make it work, right? She's just sticking it out trying to make it work. The problem with that is you are so annoyed and disgusted with him that is showing your role in your eyes and stuff like that. And remember, I have said before, marriage is to be enjoyed and not endured. And unfortunately, a lot of women, a lot of wives are are enduring their marriage. You know, it's like a struggle. It's like going through the wilderness for 40 years. And that's not what marriage is supposed to be. It is supposed to be enjoyed. I don't teach a lot too much on marriages, you know, because if I really teach on marriages, like I really have it in my spirit to do, and I'm writing my book, a, a lot of women are going to want to get divorced because they're going to realize that they married the wrong husbands. Okay, granted, none of us is perfect. Ain't no marriage perfect, not mine. The only one that's perfect is the relation, the love that Christ has for the church. Every other marriage have problems and, and stuff like that. But there's just some marriages, it's a struggle, girl. And marriage is to be enjoyed and not endured. Okay, we're at day 23, Lindsay and uh, Mark is on the beach. Um, but, and uh, let me say real quick about Katina and um, and uh, Olapupu. He did say he wanted a woman who cook, okay? What Dr. Fake Pastor Cal was talking about, he didn't say how important cooking was. But the problem is it didn't matter. It didn't matter because they always match people of the opposites. And so so that's why I remember saying, but I thought she said she wanted, she liked to cook. So it just seemed like she might like to cook once in a while. She don't want to be cooking every day. I don't want to be cooking every day either. I don't cook every day. I would have never married a man who wanted a fresh meal every day. Okay. And so he did say he wanted a wife that cook. And I guess she cooked, but she don't really cook that much. She really prefers to eat out. It didn't matter, y'all. That's saying he, she should have, he should have said she should, doesn't matter. Merla was very specific about what she wanted and what did they do? They matched him with her with the dusty. And we've seen it on and off, off, on and on again, where the people ask for one thing and the experts match them with the opposite. So it don't matter what the people say. They might as well just shut your mouth. 
because they're going to just throw you with somebody and they're doing it for drama, right? This is all for drama. That's going to keep us watching. It's, they're not really matching couples to really stay married. You know, out of the five, they might match, they might match one couples to stay married. Look at, look at Noi. Noi has, was in a refugee camp moving from place to place. They match him with with as the daddy, a vagabond, who want to move from place to place, who doesn't have a nine to five, though. I don't think Steve is broke. I just don't think he is. I think he got some savings and some investments and some stuff. But but nine to five would give Noi um, security. That is security for her. Noy is not seeing that you can be an entrepreneur in this time, 20 in 2020, 2021, 2022, and make good income. You can be. It's not like 10, 15 years ago where you're struggling to be an entrepreneur. You can be an entrepreneur this day and make very good income. Okay. I have author friends, they make money, they make a, a decent income from their living. I'm trying to get there from their book writing. And I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to get to the place where my books replace my income or decent enough my income. Okay. So it doesn't matter what they say they want. The experts give them the opposite regardless. They're not going to match them with what they want because what they want don't make drama. Up The, the crazy and the drama makes the drama. Okay. So Noy and um, Lindsay and Mark is on the beach. He brought her some roses. What kind of roses are those? Hey, Dr. Pepper, where you been? I ain't seen you all season. Okay, so they're they're on the beach and they're they're doing the game and they're answering the question, what is your favorite sexual position and why? Tell us, Lindsay. Wait, what did she say? What is your favorite sexual position? And why? It's being on top because it's been on top. I've discovered a G-spot orgasm, so that's gonna take the bank for me. Okay. <laughs> she said re recently she 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 what did she say? Whatever a G spot position. Was that with Mark Lindsay? Because you complaining he ain't doing it for you. Mm -mm. What she said, let me rewind. What is a, what is a, what now, Dr. Pepper? Let me fix my life. Uh, that's gonna take the bank from What she say? Oh, good communication. Good communication leads to trust and intimacy, which good leads to a successful marriage. But if you don't want to talk to him, girl. You're her skin color. <laughs> Katina is asking the question. I miss Noy and Steve. Uh, Katina asks, if you could change one thing about me, what would it be? My response, her skin color. <laughs> Talking about God made you perfectly. Oh, Jasmine and Michael, here we go. What can I do better in our marriage and why? Did they do see Dr. Viviana already? I don't remember. She said there's some all things, small conversations. <laughs> she said, wow, this game was so much fun. What can I do better in our marriage? Listen and understand and know I'm not your enemy. You know, Jasmina, Jasmina asked for a tall drink of water. What did they do? Match her with a shrimp roll. Okay. Match her with a little Vienna sausage. <laughs> so it don't matter what they, it might as well don't say nothing, child. Because, you, you know, they, you say you want him tall, they give it to you short. Look at Jasmina, child. Is there anything you've been, been embarrassed to tell me? Uh, 
seniors always pull this prank. The seniors pull a prank in high school. Like the new students, specifically the girls. So New <laughs> she Okay, so they played a prank in her, make her think she had her period, but she really didn't. Okay, well, she was young, because, you know, my thing, I would be like, wait a minute, when I last had it, I'm not supposed to have it till this, but that's if yours is normal. Mine don't miss a day. Mine is to the T. <laughs> it says it's supposed to start at the 12, at 12.45 p.m. <laughs> that's what they could. Well, she, you know, kids, they don't know. She needed a moment in high school. She's pretty, Jasmine. <laughs> he called her a bully. <laughs> Obviously, Jasmina has, has friends on Michael. They call him the pee pee boy. Six years old. You have accidents in school, child. That's why you send a change of clothes, right? Can I change? You, they, ooh, my eyes. Change of clothes, go to school up to six years old, right? Mamas, help me out. In kindergarten, we had to send a, a change of clothes. So six years old, I, you know, to be six years old, I was like, oh, okay, well, six year old people have accidents, right? Is it just me? Is it just me that's not shocked that a six year old wet himself in school? I'm not. <laughs> I'm not because you guys said it's change of clothes. I had to send a change of clothes from Michael in kindergarten. Granted, he did, he did, um, he did uh, kindergarten on uh, the computer, but when he had to go in to practice for graduation, we had to send a change of clothes. So, yeah. Oh, Dr. Viviana is visiting Noy and uh, Steve. That's a pretty dress, Dr. Viviana. Now, I'm going to give it to Dr. Viviana. You know, I give, I give honor where honor is due. Dr. Viviana been wearing some nice dresses. I almost want to go look up where she got that dress so I could go get something, but I know I already have something similar to that. And I was in the house for about a year that I didn't wear a lot of my dresses. So, so I think I've done a pretty good job so far. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the next one. They have a great physical connection. But they didn't have sex. Lies. They've been enjoying each other. Do you have the trust about that intimacy and you need? She's still, still getting comfort. I don't believe her. No, it's a lie. No, I have sex on first nights. Uh, Steve is a good looking man. When I get upset, I shut down. Yeah, I'm like that too. Last disagreement, she was upset. What's going on internally when you shut down? What's going on internally when you shut down? You know, in the past, I've lashed out at like partners. And she lashed out in the past. I am so angry that I will just say things. Right, right. And she, she's so angry that you will say things. It's best to shut your mouth, girl. I, I believe it. That's why I shut up, girl. I don't say nothing. When I'm upset, I don't say no. I just sit right here. Oh. Look at my like. Oh. <laughs> okay, Noy, say something. I didn't realize, like, you didn't. 
Oh, she didn't realize how much she hurt him. Lord have mercy. Turn to him. Like these girls, they want these people want to be married and they don't know what marriage is about. They need to go read my book that I'm going to write. <laughs> You need to work on what? You right, right. You was wrong, Noah. You should have communicated. Listen, Steve, I'm feeling stressed right now. I need a break. I'm gonna stay at the apartment for a day. Now I'm one of them. I don't mind if you're if you're at the place where you feel like you can't be there. Go, go, go somewhere. <clears throat> Go to your apartment, go to your mama house, go get a hotel room, do something. I'm I'm like that. I don't mind. I don't mind if, you know, me. I don't think me and Mike has ever gotten there where, you know, one of us felt like we needed to leave or something like that. The most I'll say is, you know what, I'm going to go upstairs or something like that. And this is one of, one of the things I love about how our house is. We do have a lot of space where... You know, if I feel like I don't want to talk to you right now, I go in the room and I close the door or I'll say, you know what, Mike, I'm going to just go upstairs. I don't want to talk to you right now. Okay. And then later he'll come back on the door. You are right. Can I come cuddle up with you? No. <laughs> but, I, you know, I don't think we've, nine years, we've never been to the place where one of us had to leave. Um, but I'm all for leaving. I don't care if it's going around the block and walking around for a minute, girl, and calm down. Okay. Oh, he said something has to change because this is not sustainable. <laughs> but sometimes, you know what? Sometimes when you're upset, you just need space. Sometimes you just need space. I don't believe you have to talk about everything right now. Oh, I love their kitchen. I love all that light. Oh my God, I cannot wait for us to move. Ooh, what would speak to you to build trust in him? Ooh, she needs more of a concrete plan. And she would like, and she she would like to be in a relationship where they're both con contributing. Um, yeah, yeah, Steve, you need to give her a plan. Just show her the bank account with all that money in there. And so, wait a minute, did he say? Do you think I am incapable of making money? Do you doubt that I'm incapable of making money, Steve? She don't know that. Show her the bank account. Okay, this for y'all ladies that's marrying these men that to go tell you, I got it. I got you. Uh-uh, you don't have me. Give me the money. You need the paperwork. She said, I don't doubt it. Steve, you you know what, Steve? Don't let me come through the TV. <laughs> don't let me come through the TV. What are you talking about? It hasn't affected her. Man, at first sight, is paying for everything. They're paying for everything right now, Steve. So what are you talking about? It hasn't affected you financially. Man, at first sight, is paying for the apartment. Man, at first sight, pay for the wedding. Man, at first sight, give them a stipend. So what are you talking about? Y'all not spending none of your money right now. Just show her the bank account with all the million of dollars in there. It has a, but it will. It will. Oh, he said, I'm home cooking and cleaning. Do you like the benefits of having this home and cleaning and... 
Having this place spotless. Where's the money, Steve? Show me the money. If it's so important for him to get a full-time job, this place is not going to be clean. Well, you both can clean or get a cleaner. That's what I do. Okay. I get it so I can clean my house for me and wash my clothes. I'm even thinking about getting a maid. I think I need somebody to come, you know, maybe twice a week. Okay. I didn't run it by my kid. I'm just thinking maybe I need to get it. I need to get the lady to come, you know, twice a week to come tidy up for me, okay? <laughs> ah, no, I turn and look at Steve and Dr. Pepper like, Dr. Viviana like. Ooh, she said he make excuses. To me, it just sounds like excuses. Go ahead, Noy. Speak up, honey. Yes. It sounds like excuses, Steve. Show us the money. Ooh, good. She said, I think we can equally, equally co contribute to that. You know what I noticed when I was away? My allergies, I didn't have any problems with the allergies. As soon as I come back here, it's the dust. I knew it. This is why I need the lady to come twice a week. This is why I need her to come, okay? To dust for me. <laughs> you know, I don't think it was just the idea to do all the housework. And then I work for, like, we could both work. Yeah. Well, wait, so we wait a minute. Wait a minute. So Steve wanted her to work and pay the bills, and he stayed home and clean up. But wait a minute, Noy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Noy. Did you not say you don't mind your husband being a stay-at-home husband? Mm -hmm. See, you run your lips too much. Go ahead. It requires faith on my part because he hasn't seen her doing this. Well, if you clean the whole house, what is there for me to clean? If you do the dishes and wash the drawers and the clothes, what is there for me to do? Come on, fake Dr. Vivi. You know what? I don't know if it'll be bothered with you. He said, part of me is like, we should really try it so you can see what it's like. Lord, Steve, please don't embarrass me. Here I am in the streets, YouTube streets, telling the people you got money. And now you talking about you want her to work and you, uh, uh, you uh, what now? So what now? Wait a minute. So you want to clean the house and let her pay the bills? I can't. Because if I get a job, there is no going back. What in the world? Uh, I'm about to drag him, Lord. <laughs> Look at Noy's face. Would you ever be okay with that? If, if y'all had enough savings, would you ever be okay with him being like a stay-at-home so so here dr viviana if you have enough savings would you ever be okay with him staying home being a husband or dad well where's the savings coming from steve that's what i'm saying if you got the money show the girl the money okay that's, just not, what I want. that's not what you want but that's what you said did she not help me out did she not say she wouldn't mind having a stay-at-home husband or dad y'all did she not say that? Help me out, y'all. Maybe I heard wrong. She said that's not what she wants. That's not what she envisioned. See there? Mm, a lot of y'all women marrying men, they it can't give you the life you envision. I'm just saying, girl. And she's looking at him like she's scared. She's like, Oh my God, can you only believe I'm only at 35 minutes? Jesus. Okay, so Jasmina and, and Michael is me with Jazz, uh, Dr. Vivian. Y'all, I cannot wait. This white, oh my God. This, there must be a new type of white. Are anybody out there in painting construction? I got asked my brother. There is this new white. That white is like sparkling white. Like now I want to paint my whole house white. But because I know we're looking for a house to move to, I'm just going to leave it alone. 
but yeah i love the white it's just absolutely beautiful oh i like jasmine in one piece i like it Well, welcome back to Viviana. That's cute. You're so sweet. Yes. Thank you so much for having me. I'm here to visit y'all so we can talk more about intimacy. So they're here. They're, why are they pushing these people to, to be intimate? I just don't understand. Physically, what you've been going through and what you was your trust level. So we're not really physically intimate, Michael says. Hand holding, hugs, kissing. Why is that? Ooh. she's he's allowing her to take the lead where they're going physically. Right. So she, I'm, I'm like that too. She says she's told him that she's the one she's always had that physical and mental before physical. I'm like that. I am like that. That's why I know when a man, when I meet him, I already know you can't talk your teeth, right? I can't, I can't, <clears throat> I just can't do it. Okay. I just can't. I'm like that too. I, I, we don't make no, no e emotional and mental connection and he's a dumb, dumb. I just don't. Oh, she said, that's what you're used to. She says, not what that I'm used to. That's what I prefer. Go ahead, Jasmine. Yes. Yes, girl. Cause see what they want them to do is go ahead and bang it out. And hopefully there will be, uh, an emotional connection but what if it doesn't happen you know like some of y'all marry these dust and hope they're gonna turn into princes that's right have a connection with somebody mind and all of that first before i give them my body come on girl teach teach dr viviana teach the fake expert Ooh, here, here it comes. Here comes the wet panties. Here come the wet panties. Okay. And she said, also, if I'm being honest, if I don't have a connection with you, my vagina and I get wet for you. Go! <laughs> just me. That's her kitty cat is not going to get wet. That's true. I'm just telling you. I was just let <laughs> Fake Viviana was like, hmm? go ahead, go ahead, Jasmine. It's out. That's just what it is. That's just what it is. <laughs> Mike is looking at him. And you could tell his beard is fake. You could tell it. You see the glue sticking up right there? Mm. I think he would look so much more handsome if he shaved that stuff off his face. I feel like you finally gotten to a place where you even feel connected. There are times where there are times they 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 feel like they're having a moment, but she's just not attracted to him. Go ahead, uh, y'all will be attracted to the shrug either. Yes, that's what I said. Didn't I say that? She said, "If I'm being honest, I feel like we're coexisting." I said it. Didn't I say that earlier? And I didn't watch this, but just from your comments and stuff, and I was reading and I realized this morning, that's what they're doing. They're coexisting. She's not physically attracted to him. Run, Jasmine, run! Do you think that that's because of what we're saying? Do you think that's what's, what's said in the past? Yes. Michael says yes. Just say, Jasmine, just say you don't like him. Are you worried anything time you say something she don't like? Are you going to deem you what? <coughs> the comfortability level for him be vulnerable is not there. He they want is to startle. Jasmine, just say you're not attractive. You're not physically attractive. You don't find him attractive. You're not when you when you are 
physically attracted to someone, you want to be with them, you want to touch them and feel them. And even if there's problems, you're going to work it out, you know, because you really like this person and you want it to work out. But when you don't like them and you don't care, you're like, I don't care. Okay. We're just coexisting right now. Like, how many more days do I have to go? Like, I just can't wait to get you out of my face. Bye. He's fo she's focusing on fixing the issue. She's focusing on him causing the issue. Oh, Lord, here they go about who talking. You cut me off again. I just can't with these people. I can say 100% each time that we have a conflict, we're in a conflict with them, but that's part of communication. But right now, we're just focusing on the communication and getting back to just talking on a normal level. I don't know. 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 Woo, child, give me a minute, give me a minute, give me a minute. I just need a second. I just need a second, child. Jasmine, you gotta let the bed talk. Stop cut that bed off. That's rude, disrespectful. But you know, you don't like it, so you don't like it, so you know. Let's break this down. <laughs> Vivian, let's break this down. This is part of a communication breakdown. This is part of a communication breakdown. <laughs> So stuck on taking ownership of stuff. <laughs> he said, Do you think I've taken ownership of what I'm supposed to work on? She said, I think you're so stuck on taking ownership. Jasmina, come with the words, girl. Okay, well, I think that's my problem is just I feel like I'm the one that's really trying. She said she feel like she's the one that's trying. Because that means that you do have some trust for him. That mean you have some trust for him. She don't trust in child. She's trying to get away from him. <laughs> he still don't know how to communicate without saying it in a disrespectful manner. Is there any way you can journal it and then maybe share it with her? Is there any way you can journal it and then share it with her? Ooh, safe space. This is where trust and intimacy comes in. Ooh, child. Do you want to get to that place? Say no, Jasmina. And tell her why. Jasmina, the answer. I was hoping that, like, if we get closer physically, that's how close that is. If we get closer physically, not six. Well, I feel like we're speaking more and we're getting a better connection. Then I want to do those things as well. Kiss you, cuddle you. But I don't like you. <laughs> Kiss you, cuddle you, but I don't like you. Write a book, girl. Is she kissable? Uh, he said, look at her. Believe you, they can't work through. It cannot be worked through. It cannot be fixed. It cannot be fixed. Jasmine and Michael can't be fixed. <clears throat> I just got a, a, a sample of my one of my new book covers. It's pretty. Jasmine and Michael cannot be fixed, honey. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're back with Mark and Lindsay. Hey, I don't like the black. They're going to be coming out to talk to Lindsay and uh, did they talk to them already? Am I seeing things or what? Girl, I'm just tired. Did we see this already? Did I did I rewind too fast? Wait a minute, let me see. No, I didn't. T 
Do we see this part already? No, because I didn't see Jasmine. How do you feel about your marriage, Mark? What they was laughing about? What was funny? Did y'all get? <laughs> did y'all get what was funny? Yeah, I mean, I knew that there could be fireworks between y'all. I did not think that they would get so bad. Like, what was the Ooh, Viviana said, I, I knew there were fireworks. I didn't think they were so bad. Well, you matched two crazies together. M Mark is not a crazy. Ooh, child. Ooh, I'm telling you, I'm not satisfied. Ooh, why am I here? What do you like about me? Nothing. He don't like nothing about you, Lindsay. And that's why I think it's really important that when you come in here to really talk about trust and intimacy, we'll propel you. That's why I come here to talk about trust and intimacy. Oh, child, leave that past in the past. She crazy. She's a nut. Viviana, what is she talking about? Why is she sitting on the dishcloth? Did y'all see? Lindsay, she nasty. I mean, what I've seen is... On our wedding night, he was like... I was going to make you feel love for... The next day. And they were internet the next day. He said, he said, I'm going, I'm going to do all this. See, I'm going to do, I'm going to put your back out. <laughs> I'm going to have your climbing the wall calling Jesus. And so the second time he said he didn't feel good. I made a move and yes, we got intimate. I, I, thought, it was great. I thought it was great. So what's the problem, Lindsay? It wasn't bad for the first time. It wasn't bad for the first time. Time is because I gotta go, child. She said first I was passionate. He was romantic. He could probably handle me. She said, doesn't look like it. <laughs> Lindsay is a nut. Do you want to have a good sex life with him? Then you need to not be so rude. But if he can't handle her, I'm with Lindsay. Uh, she said, I'll be trying to talk to you about this. Dr. Viviana was, are you saying it's hard not to be rude? She said, no, it's hard to talk to him. Yes, you do get to give up in a marriage when you're done with it. Lies, Viviana. Oh my God, they have those ugly rings again. What would make sense for both of you? Do you trust each other enough to give each other the benefit of the doubt? Do you trust each other enough to give each other the benefit of the doubt? Girl, what? Well, she said, I'm not sure Mark trusts her. I wouldn't trust you either. You are not, girl. Let's make a different team. Mm -mm. Do you trust that you need that to the best for each other? Do you trust that you each want the best for each other? Do you trust that you want to be more emotionally? Do you trust that you want to be emotionally more? She don't like him. She don't like him. Trust even more 
You know what it is? They want people who is not supposed to work to work. Okay? They want these people, they want people who don't work to work. It's like a peg and a and a round hole. <clears throat> they want these people to work. They want these people to go. They don't go. Let's see on my new book cover. They don't, they don't go. You hit below the belt. You can't do that no more. You can't. Child, Lindsay can't help but hitting below the belt. What time is it, y'all? I got I got to get ready to go. Oh, child, this is so long. Dang. I thought I did a whole hour the last time, but I didn't, huh? All right, let me do the next segment, and then I'm going to go. Do you know that today's International Nap Day? Oh, my God, if I knew, I would have taken the day off. But I didn't know. So since I'm already up dressed and ready, I'll just go. <laughs> I would have stayed in the bed all day. Okay, how you think the, the conversation, Dr. Vivian? Okay, I'm going to stop here because I got to go. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to try to finish this later. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just, this is just too long. Is it me or does it seem like it has gotten longer? Um, I'll pick up where Michael, they're talking about their visit with Dr. Vivian. I love you. Have a great day. It's international nap day, according to my girlfriends that just text me. So if you're in the bed, stay in the bed. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to try to finish this later. I love you. I adore you. Thank you for everything you've done. Oh, for those of you who want to join my Patreon, be sure to join. I have new books coming and you will be getting them for free if you're in my Patreon or if you're members of my channel, you're a paid member, you pay a membership from my, from my channel. Be sure to check that out. I love you. I have to go. Remember, I need reviews, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate the love and the support. Bye.